Sage was excited about her, about life, ready to pursue her dreams in the real world. Having just left the reservation for the first time, Sage was a little overwhelmed, but confident with her success. She was, after all, armed with good wisdom from her family. She had a full belly and a backpack full of lots and lots of fried bread. <laughs> Sage was determined to leave the past behind her and find her way in the world. Entering the sea of life, Sage was hit by many emotions, feelings of excitement, feelings of loneliness, feelings of intimidation, even feelings of fear. She started feeling hungry, and most of all, there's feelings of the unknown. In the sea of life, Sage was surrounded by the canoe of heritage, which was her traditions, her values, her beliefs, from her ancestors and from her tribal culture. She was also surrounded by another canoe, the canoe of mainstream culture, which was the dominant world pursued through education, social equality, political correctness, and tolerance. Sage immediately felt the push and the pull between these two canoes and the sea of life. Heritage wanted her to stay true to her people, to her culture, and honor those that had come before her. But mainstream culture wanted her to step outside of her comfort zone, of her traditions, and be adventurous in the world of endless possibilities and changes. So Sage found herself in an uncomfortable position, trying to balance between heritage and the mainstream culture. But then, Sage was struck by the vast openness of the sea of life. As it came with opportunities, so did it come with obstacles. Pretty soon she encountered an obstacle when her car broke down, she had no gas money, and she had no cell phone to call for help. She tried to avoid the obstacle. Let's keep 
game. And the thunder game. And then a big bang. She felt drawn to the she felt drawn to jump into the canoe of heritage, but also into the canoe of mainstream culture. There wasn't a balance between Sage as she was straddling between the two opposing canoes. Then it occurred to her. There was a way to balance heritage and mainstream culture in a healthy way that empowered her to overcome her obstacles in the sea of life. The heritage and the mainstream culture canoe were brought together in harmony. It was then, in this process, Sage had found balance, encouragement, strength, bravery, and stability. She had learned the most important values that armed her through the sea of life. Heritage, traditions, health and well-being, education, honor, faith, respect, and responsibility. Thank you. 